Dr. Joseph Mengele, known as the Angel of Death, was a Nazi German SS officer and a physician in Auschwitz Nazi concentration camp. He gained notoriety mainly for being one of the SS physicians who supervised the selection of arriving transports of prisoners. He also determined who was to be killed and who was to be put to work on the concentration camps, and mostly he was known for performing human experiments on prisoners. His experiments included the high-altitude experiment, which consisted of inmates being placed into low-pressure chambers that simulated altitudes as high as 68,000 feet and monitored their psychological response as their bodies would give up and they would die. After this experiment, they would take and dissect the brain to see the damages caused by high altitude. These experiments were conducted to find out how to best save German pilots forced to eject at high altitudes. Freezing was another experiment performed. This experiment was done to determine the most efficient way to treat German pilots who had been almost frozen from ejecting into the ocean. They placed some victims into tubs of freezing cold water and others were strapped down outside in freezing cold temperatures. While the victims slowly froze, foamed at the mouth, and lost consciousness, Dr. Mengele and his team recorded the change in their heart rate, body temperature, and muscle reflexes. When their body temperature fell to about 79 degrees Fahrenheit, they would try numerous ways of rewarming them, such as scalding baths, hot sleeping bags, and sometimes force naked women to copulate with them. Most of the inmates died during and after these experiments, and the others were killed and then dissected for organ observation. Sulfanilamide experiments were done for the benefit of the German army whose frontline soldiers suffered from serious wounds. The doctors would take inmates and slice open their legs and arms and infect the wounds with bacteria then aggravate the wound by rubbing glass and dirt inside of it to simulate a war wound. Then they would treat the wound with sulfanilamide, which is a synthetic compound that is used to prevent the spread of disease-causing bacteria. Most of these victims died, and the others were killed for further studies. Another experiment that was done was the injection of poisonous chemicals into the body. Doctors would inject prisoners with all sorts of poisons and drugs and record what happened to the body as the poison set in. After they died, they used the bodies to practice performing autopsies to see what effects the poisons had on internal organs. The purpose of this experiment was to see which poison worked the best as a lethal injection. Tuberculosis was a common illness in World War II, so the Nazi doctors set out to find the best method to cure tuberculosis. In order for this to be done, they took inmates and injected them with live bacteria that caused tuberculosis into the lungs. They would wait until the bacteria infected the lungs, then they were injected with numerous drugs in hopes of finding a cure. Another experiment that was performed was bone muscle and joint transplantation. To learn if the limb or joint could be successfully attached to another person who had just lost a limb or joint. Doctors amputated perfectly healthy limbs and attempted to transplant them onto another victim. They also attempted to transplant muscles and joints, and when they were finished, the victims usually died, otherwise they were killed and burned. One of Dr. Mengele's most famous experiments was the attempt to change the color of people's eyes. Blonde hair and blue eyes was ideal for Dr. Mengele and the German Nazis. Not everyone is born that way, so Dr. Mengele attempted to change the pigment of victims' eyes by dripping bluish-colored chemicals into their eyes. Needless to say, this was very painful and did not work, and often caused blindness.